Hello you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren if you're new here and if you're not new, welcome. I hope you stay and subscribe. I do a whole lot of lifestyle content. I also do fashion hauls and a lot of college style videos because I am entering my last year of college this year at Point Loma Nazarene University. So if you want to follow and join the fam, please do. San Diego living is listening to seagulls all the time. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my backpack video for this school year. Probably my last one. Okay, also what's in my backpack. But I actually use a purse for my school bag because I just find it's more convenient. I don't know why I like using bigger purses more than actual backpacks. Honestly, if I end up having to switch over to a backpack because this purse just gets too much and to be too heavy, then I might end up doing that also. But for now, this is what's going to be working for me. I will link the same exact one down below it does look stuffed right now and it is but it holds so much and I love it and I love how cute it is it's from Kate Spade and I got it on sale it is the perfect size so comfy to use and I just love it so much it holds literally so much so I'm gonna get into this and yeah show you everything that's in my purse also if you have not watched it already I did a full Amazon school supply shopping video so I'll have that one linked down below as well if you want to check that one out because I show basically all the supplies that I got for the year all from Amazon in that video. So go watch that one if you haven't before you watch this one. Okay, let's get into it. So my purse has three different pockets in it. We're gonna start with the big main middle pocket because that's where all of my school stuff is. Okay, honestly, I am so hot right now and I don't know why I'm wearing a crew neck. So please hold while I change out of this. Okay, so much better. I don't know why I wasn't wearing this before. The middle pocket we go. As you can see, this holds literally so much stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you, because it's probably going to be the main, just the main attraction of the year, which it always is, because being in college, you do a lot of things on your laptop. This is my 13-inch MacBook Pro 2020 M1 chip. I think that's all. I use this for so many things. Um, If my class allows me to take notes in it, then I will. If not, then I'll be doing it on, like, regular notes notebook and a pen. Most classes allow you to use laptops and also like some of them actually require it so obviously I'll be using this to take maybe typed notes or just do things online or whatever. The next piece of technology is my iPad. This is the iPad 4th gen. Um, I got it like last year I believe and last year for online school I used this to take notes so that was fun. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing this year yet either like notebook notes or iPad written notes. Not really sure which Whichever seems to work better for me and whichever seems to work for each class better so I guess I'll just have to wait and see for that but I will be doing a whole video um, on the iPad and how I use it for school and like how I take notes on it and all that because so many people have requested it so I will be doing it but I will let you guys know when I end up doing that also I do have a case for it but the case that I have does not let me charge my Apple pencil at the same time so that's kind of whack so right now I'm not I don't have a case on it because my Apple pencil's charging but that's that. All right, next off I have three different notebooks because the most classes that I have in one day in a row are three classes and that's only on Wednesdays. So at the most ever I'll have three notebooks in here. These ones are just from Amazon. Um, I got them in my Amazon school supplies haul. So these are the three that I have in here. They're just single subject college rule notebooks. Again, I don't know if I'm going to have all this in here every single day, but this is like generally what I'm probably going to be bringing to school. So that's that. I also have my planner because I'm going to be using this every single day taking this literally everywhere with me I love physical planners rather than just writing lists on my laptop and stuff so this one's also from Amazon I love it so much and obviously gonna be using this all the time next off is this file folder if you watched my Amazon video you know that I chose to do a file folder again this year instead of a binder just because it's so handy to just have something this thin and this like portable to keep all your papers for all your classes in it at once so like I'll have all my syllabi in here in each tab and I'll always have them whenever I need to reference them or something while I'm in another class so it's just super handy to have it and this one is just so cute they had so many different color combos in these folders and I love it so much you just can't beat these file folders you can't <laughs> all right the last thing in the center giant pocket is my pencil pouch from Amazon in here I actually filled it so it has everything that I'm going to need in it we've got my sticky notes my mini stapler my whiteout pencils pens and then over here we have my brush pens and I'm so excited I didn't fit all of them in here so I just chose like the most popular ones and the ones that I'll probably use the most hi my good boy Rocco boy you want to say hi to the camera you want to say hi come here 
I love you. You know that? I love you. I love you. My waku. I'm gonna try to sit on my lap because he thinks he's still tiny. Hi, good boy. I'm filming a video. Can you sit? Good boy, pa. Good boy. So that is all for the main pocket. But in this big pocket, there are also three more smaller pockets. So there's a zipper pocket right here on this side. And then on the other side of that pocket, there's two just like regular pockets. So there's so much storage in this purse and I love it so much. Okay, next I have the side pocket. These are more of like personal essentials that I always keep in my purse. So I always keep my glasses in here. These are just my Felix Grey glasses. I do wear contacts all the time, but in case my eyes get super dry or like irritated and I need to take those out, I have my glasses in here. I also keep deodorant in here at all times especially in the summer because i sweat a lot okay i'm gonna admit that i sweat a lot and i honestly have kind of like self-diagnosed myself with hyperhidrosis and i'm thinking about doing something about it and getting like armpit botox that's for a whole other video but you just needed a little background i am a very sweaty person i always have been so keeping deodorant on hand is always very important especially native deodorant and when you have to apply these types like multiple times a day because they're like the natural ones you know and they don't tend to work as well as the normal ones always have to keep this this is the charcoal one by the way and then i have my airpods these are just the regular airpods do you like being in my video i think you do these are the regular AirPods, first generation. They work perfectly fine for me. And I love this little silicone case from Amazon. Like, I don't know why I feel like everyone has these, but I know they don't. I just feel like everyone should have them. So this is just for, you know, when I'm working by myself or in the library or like walking to class or something. Always going to have my AirPods. Another essential is chapstick. I love these little Laneige mini lip sleeping masks. Yes, you do have to like dip your finger in these, but we're going to try to be as sanitary as possible, I guess. But I love these because they're mini and they're travel size and you can just pop them in your purse. Although a full size one would also fit in my purse, but obviously the mini is more purse friendly. In the small pocket, in the small pocket, there's a billion pockets in this purse. I just have a mask in here because I don't know what the requirements are going to be for masks and all that yet so i'm just keeping this in here for future you know reference and all that so that's all that's in that pocket now we're going to move into the other pocket on the opposite side it's the same identical thing just on the other side so first off i have my keys in here self-explanatory i also have this peel and you lanyard that i got literally at like freshman orientation and thinking about it now it's so crazy that i'm gonna be a senior and this is my last year of school probably ever so that's just crazy to me <laughs> and i'm so pumped to be done next i keep my wallet in here because i obviously need this at all times self-explanatory i also lost my student id so i also have to prep for that and get a new one before school starts but i haven't really thought about that yet so i literally have no idea where it went i lost it like last year still haven't found it so that's that i also keep a snack in here at all times so i just usually keep a granola bar this is a lara bar i love these so much they're vegan little bars they're very minimal ingredients so this one has six ingredients chocolate chip cookie dough so good i love these so much all the flavors are like really good so i always keep one of these in here because it's like good energy you know and then lastly in the little mini pocket again in the small pocket i have oil sheets because these are necessity if you have oily skin i have oily oily skin oil sheets are the best thing to ever exist these are the clean and clear ones you know what else works if you don't already know is using toilet seat covers although that sounds disgusting but like just take a couple off and then use one that like hasn't been touched you know you just rip a piece off and you use the like matte side of it literally works perfectly just as well as this but obviously i don't have access to those 24 hours a day so these are lifesavers they just if you haven't ever seen them it just comes in a little booklet like this and you just pull off a sheet and use it when you need to literally life-changing and if you don't know about them now you do you're welcome and lastly i just keep hair ties you always need hair ties especially when you don't think you need them but you really do need them so i always keep a couple in there especially for like friends and stuff who always ask for them i've got the hair ties girls i've got them or guys if you have long hair but yeah that is all that's in my college backpack <laughs> i really hope you enjoyed this video and i know that these are really fun videos to watch i love watching them personally i'll probably watch a few after this also and probably add some more things to my purse that i don't think i need but i actually need so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe to join the fam if you have not already and i respond to like all my comments right now which is so fun because i have the time to but if you want to chat and say hi make sure you leave me a comment down below and stay tuned for more college related videos back to school content i start august 31st i think 
Is there a 31st of August? Yes, I start August 31st. So I still have like a month left, but I'm very excited to go into my last year and just, you know, find out what the heck I'm gonna do after. So that's, it's just a really exciting time. And for all you future seniors as well, good luck on your senior year of college. If you're an incoming freshman, good luck on your freshman year of college. Literally any grade you're going into, good luck, I believe in you. It's a semi-normal feeling year because we're not social distanced learning anymore any circumstances that you guys are under i wish you the best of luck and i believe in you if you need me reach out to me i will be there for you so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys